all right, guys, I thought we had a good day today. Uh, focus was good. Concentration was good. Um, energy level was good. It was all good to see. So, any questions? Better look, like look good. Okay. Look good. I was just going to say, it looked like he took a uh, big step forward this week. Normal practice. Yeah. He, uh, you know, yesterday was just, you know, giving him a little break on some of the throws. And, uh, you know, he's better to be fine. Throwing? Yeah, yeah, everything's good. He was just like everybody today. You had as many guys as you had on the injury report yesterday. Did you have to scale back things yesterday and or today? Uh, you know, during the, the time of year that it is, you do that on a regular basis anyways, I think. Um, that's what I've always been a part of. Um, so, yeah, but nothing unusual, I don't think. Not exceptionally unusual. Maybe a little bit. Look like JC. Well, I know JC and Chris didn't do anything yesterday. Were they able to do anything today? They were. They participated in. Uh, you know, we switched them in and out, got other guys some reps and stuff. But they participated just like everybody else. Took normal reps today, Hopefully just like everybody. So, excuse me. Hopefully they can go Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I'm holding out hope for all of them. Don't know for sure on any of them, you know. But we have a plan. Well, you had quite a shake up on your uh, defensive line. In, in the last couple of weeks. So how do you think, especially those new guys are, uh, are fitting in? I think they're doing an excellent job. They came right in. They learned the system. They learned what we do. Uh, they've been playing at a pretty good level. Their energy level is good. They bring good focus to the practice field. And then you get them to the games, and they play with great energy. Um, I think John and Elliot and Lonzo and all of their staff uh, done a great job of finding those guys, especially at the time of year that it was in, uh, for guys to come in and contribute, not just to have bodies. These guys can come in and they've contributed for us. You said they trusted Demarius Randall would you know, do everything to prepare the way he's supposed to this week. Is that all going the way you had hoped it would? Yeah. I mean, I don't think – I mean – I think Damaris is out there doing his best to focus, concentrate, and prepare to play Sunday. Brady, we talked all year long about you guys getting the ball to Beckham, you know, forcing it at some point just to try to get him more incorporated. Has he um, expressed any frustration to you at all in terms of just not being maybe as dynamic as everyone would hope? You know, uh, Odell is, you know, Odell's not been a problem at all. You know, really, if if it wasn't Odell, uh, we wouldn't be even asking these questions about, um, you know, that kind of outlier type stuff. You know, Odell's been fine. He's, you know, he's been good. Helps everybody. Helps the young guys. Uh, quarterback and and uh, Baker and Odell have a good dialogue. I mean, everything's good. Talking about your corners on Sunday against Pittsburgh and the 50 50 balls that they weren't able to get this time around. Um, how do you get that? How do you get them to attack the ball each and every week and make those plays? Well, well that's an emphasis every week. Those guys are doing a good job of working this week to get better this week on, on uh, attacking and playing the football. Um, and that's a lot of times all it comes down to. So they're, they're, uh, they're aware of the situation. They're aware that they need to get better. I think they'd be the first to tell you that. Uh, they need to get better in that area. And uh, that a lot of times separates a completion from an incompletion. And that's all you're looking for. Got that one ball that Denzel gave up. It looked like he was fighting even after Washington had it in his hands. What do you think? On that play, could he have done anything different? Well, I think every time, just in general, uh, you know, the, the way the rule reads is they have to finish the catch. They have to complete the catch. And it's never over until – uh, it's over to the whistle lows. So at whatever point the receiver has the ball, if he doesn't finish the catch, it's incomplete. Uh, and I think we need to continue to try to get better in that area. Your defensive line, some circumstances not in your control as a result, but just how do you feel about that group uh, collectively with some of the new parts that you've had to integrate? I think uh, those guys have done a good job of coming in and, and uh, immersing themselves in the system, learning the system. They bring tremendous energy. Um, you know, it ha certainly helps to get uh, Olivier back. Uh, even though he was limited on his plays, he continues to feel better and 
uh, respond uh, better to treatment and, and the plays that he's getting in practice. So hopefully we continue to get more out of him. It was good to have Larry back. The new guys that have come in, like I said, they bring great energy and and uh, you know sometimes what you need is just somebody to do their job, and I think they've done that well. That's what I asked. Yeah. So yeah. Olivier Vernon, twelve plays last week. You expect to get hit more out of him Sunday? Yeah, I think so. I think he's uh, every day is a little better. Uh, I think we were very fortunate to get that amount of plays from him last week. I think he gutted it up some and, and got through it and did a good job. Is the rib injury uh, for Mayfield uh, something minor, or is it you know, is that kind of, uh, I guess, is the hand the bigger issue? Yeah, I think uh, with the injury reports, uh, you, you have to kind of report everything, so that's what we do. right? And so no matter how major or minor, we put it on there just to, you know, Question for me was that something in the Pittsburgh game because he's been on he's had a rib before on the injury report. Is this just a recurrence? Or? Yeah, I think um, a lot of times when quarterbacks get hit, they either get ribs landed on or get their ribs hit. So that's probably pretty common. I don't I don't know stats on that or anything, but um, you know his ribs have been hit before. So I don't remember the exact day, Tony, or the date, you know, but I'm sure it's not a recurring theme, you know. I did not. I look big enough. <laughs> I wasn't as big as I was now, though. You did throw yesterday. You still are on me about that, aren't you? I mean, yeah. Laugh, you busted out last week. Yeah. See if you get anything for Christmas. <laughs> Just to make sure, so when he didn't throw yesterday, that was a hand, that was resting the hand. It wasn't related to the ribs? Uh, nah, it, no, it wasn't. It was just, you know, the, during the individual period, you're going to throw enough balls during the course of a practice. The cumulative effect of throwing balls every day for six months, you know, it was just a good opportunity where, you know, we were inside. So it was just a good opportunity to just take a little break, to, honestly. With the way the ball came out of his hand today, you know, with it being a little wrapped and bruised, you know, it just fluttered all over. No, I'm just no. It, Baker's fine. Baker will be fine. 